What's up, everybody? It's James Freeman. A few days ago, our good friend Joshua Martinez, YouTuber, cop watcher, auditor, was arrested in Las Vegas, Nevada by Department of Homeland Security in a joint effort with Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department and the FBI. The arrest was allegedly in reference to some Facebook posts that Josh had made, including this one, which depicts police officers carrying a flag-draped casket and the words, how police officers take out their trash. On the post, it also reads, I can't wait to see the news and hear that Detective Kenneth Mead is in that casket. Many people, including myself, may find this post distasteful, but it's certainly not illegal, it certainly doesn't make any threats. But why did Josh make this post? Who is Kenneth Mead? A quick search on Detective Kenneth Mead reveals two major stories. One, innocent father branded domestic terrorist for supporting the Constitution, and two, Las Vegas mass shooting. These are the two most notable cases that Detective Kenneth Mead is known for during his failed career at Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. You see, Kenneth Mead is a member of the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. As far as his two major cases go, let's talk about the first one, the Las Vegas shooting. Today, there's far more questions than answers. It's fireworks. It's fireworks. Stop. It's fireworks. We heard what we thought were fireworks, and then everyone just got up and they said, run, and everyone started stampeding and charging and knocking over grills, jumping over fences, getting out. And every time there was a break, we ran, and we ran. And I still wasn't even sure if it was actually bullets until one of the times we paused, our friend was like, the guy next to us got shot. Detective Kenneth Mead certainly had his work cut out for him with this case, but he chose to put it on the back burner and focus on Joshua Martinez, a local constitutionalist from a military family. Last year, the Free Thought Project did a story on Joshua Martinez that shows how he got on Kenneth Mead's radar and what Kenneth Mead did once he had him. The article is entitled Exclusive, Innocent Father Branded Domestic Terrorist for Supporting the Constitution. We first brought you the story of Joshua Martinez in 2017 when he was arrested for refusing to give his age to police on a Nevada courthouse steps. He was attempting to enter the Lloyd D. George Federal Courthouse without having to identify himself. He wanted to attend the Clive and Bundy court case without giving up who he is and why he was there something he believed was a clear violation of his constitutional rights. Martinez was denied entry. Later, in an attempt to sue the U.S. Marshals for disallowing him entry into the Nevada court, he returned to the court to identify the specific marshals who denied him entry. That action turned out to be a mistake, as he was promptly arrested. Days later, while Martinez was working security at a local nightclub, Several officers in plain clothes approached him and asked him about his firearm. They informed him that even though his H&K 45 in his outside the waistband holster was clearly visible, he was going to be arrested and charged with carrying a concealed weapon without a permit. A clearly false charge. Martinez believes because he is a constitutional activist, he was targeted for the arrest by one certain detective he later learned was an LVMPD anti-terrorism division detective joint terrorist task force with the FBI. His name is Detective Kenneth Mead. Clive and Bundy was cleared of all wrongdoing, but Martinez wasn't so lucky. Even though Martinez was not a person prohibited from owning a firearm, and even though he was employed by a nightclub, and even though his gun was clearly visible, the charges stuck. Martinez took a plea deal which gave him two years of probation and he had to spend 140 days in jail at the Clark County Detention Center. When asked why his government believes he's a domestic terrorist, Martinez responded, I don't believe in violence. I disagree with drug prohibition and driver licensing. Simply because a person is for the legal legalization of marijuana doesn't make them a pothead. Nevada does not guarantee its residents a jury trial in criminal cases, and I simply believe it is unconstitutional. 
Martinez believes Meade likes to lump all people who make waves as constitutionalists and brand them as troublemakers. That's what he says Meade did to him. Although Martinez cannot prove it, he has seen Meade show up in court for his own court proceedings. On my sentencing on February 26th, I saw Detective Meade with a manila folder in his hand. This guy isn't supposed to be here. He wasn't the arresting officer and he wasn't on the case. My defense attorney came back to me and told me, dude, he's got all these Facebook posts. Detective Kenneth Mead gave them to the prosecutor. The prosecutor gave them to the judge and the judge just loses it and tells me I belong in prison. He gave us an option to either withdraw my plea or take it to trial. The judge emptied the courtroom and the only person allowed to stay was Detective Mead, who was just smiling, according to Martinez. Nevertheless, Martinez was granted probation, but that didn't last long. The young man would quickly be found guilty of probation violations just 19 days later. He would spend the next 120 days in jail after having spent 20 days awaiting trial. Martinez now wears a GPS ankle monitor and anything from jaywalking to a traffic ticket can have his probation revoked, which is set to be appealed in April of 2020. So in the land of the free, for passing out copies of the U.S. Constitution on courthouse steps, for failing to identify to a police officer, and for legally open carrying a firearm on the job site, a constitutional activist was sent to jail, branded a felon. A felon who personally believes he was targeted for expressing his freedom of speech and for taking up for the Bundys. They literally are afraid of me, branding him a domestic terrorist, not because I'm violent, but because I say real things. I know they're going to come and find something on me again. I just want to get my story out so people will know what's going on with me. Martinez has four kids and comes from a good family who have all served their country. His father was an Air Force veteran and spent his formative years on U.S. military bases. He told the Free Thought Project he is now on the Homeland Security's high threat watch list. Here are some of the things that were presented in court in order to revoke Josh's probation. At one point in time, he told his sister and his minor daughter to start recording officers with their phones, which they did. 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 Which they all kinds of things, mostly relating to the First Amendment, including Joshua Martinez making Facebook posts, Joshua Martinez recording police and government officials in their official capacity and uploading it to YouTube, Joshua Martinez being present with James Springer, better known as James Freeman on YouTube, alleging that James is a criminal, a felon. Luckily, the judge asks for evidence of this, which there is none, because even though I had been charged, I had never been convicted of everything. And now, at this point, all of the charges have been dismissed. So out of all of the silly things that probation brings up, there's one thing that caused Josh's probation to be revoked, and that was possession of weapons in the home. What were those weapons? A fire poker near the fireplace and a baseball bat behind his sister's door. Did you notice any other weapons in the common areas? Yes, while I was standing in the living room with all the occupants, I noticed a fire poker and a baseball bat, a fire poker and a baseball bat, a fire poker and a baseball bat behind the front door. And I informed Mr. Martinez that those were considered weapons due to how they were being stored. Is this a fair and accurate depiction of the uh, baseball bat and the fire poker that you found it? Yes. Okay. Statement of should admission of state exhibit two. Two is offered any objection. No objection. Two is in. So after serving all that time and taking care of all of his probation for all of these petty, petty things, Joshua Martinez was finally free of the state until just a couple of days ago when he made this Facebook post. He was given five charges at the time, including aggravated stalking, stalking, use of internet telecommunications, 
fight, challenge to fight, harassment, harassment, and later another charge was added for owning or possessing a gun by a prohibited person. The only charge showing a bond right now is the owning or possessing a gun by a prohibited person with a million dollar bond. This video has only shown you a tiny glimpse of what Kenneth Mead has put Joshua Martinez and his family through over the past few years. This post is in no way a threat or harassment. This looks to me to be a clear expression from Joshua Martinez to his friends, not directed at Kenneth Mead. The only way Kenneth Mead would even know about this post is if he were stalking or harassing Joshua Martinez. It's not as if Josh put this on Detective Mead's Facebook page. He put it on his own. By having DHS arrest Josh for this post, Kenneth Mead has proven exactly what Josh has been telling everyone. That Kenneth Mead is obsessed with Josh for no good reason. Unfortunately, in the past, Kenneth Mead has been able to use his ties to railroad Joshua Martinez. It is only my hope this time that someone within this system will say, no, that's enough. This is wrong. We cannot do this to people. But from what I've seen, that usually doesn't happen, which is why feelings like what Josh expressed in his post are becoming all too common. It's incidents like this that are causing people to lose all faith, all hope, in this so-called justice system. From an outsider's perspective, it looks to me almost as if Kenneth Mead's job is to try to push people to the brink of insanity. I don't know why. Maybe to try to get them to commit terrorist acts? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below why you think Kenneth Mead terrorizes innocent people and their families.